A great lyric can turn a decent song into something that people will remember for the rest of their lives. Writing lyrics can be a real challenge for a songwriter, so I decided to put together some words from 10 fantastic contemporary lyricists. Hopefully, this will give you inspiration to write some great song lyrics of your own. If you're not a musician, I hope you enjoy this for its pure poetry. Now before I even get into this, I need to mention that I haven't included any songs by Jeff Buckley. That's not because they don't belong here, in fact, there are just so many great Jeff Buckley lyrics that I've actually made a completely separate video just about his lyrics and music. You can find it in the link below. The genius of Jeff Buckley. Let's get started with an amazing songwriter who has a very melancholic tone. Leonard Cohen. Leonard Cohen was not only a songwriter, but also a poet, novelist, and singer. His songs touched on topics of religion, death, loss, isolation, and depression. Nice, happy stuff. Sadly, he died in 2016, but just before his death, he released this beautiful track. It's called Darker. And here are some lyrics from it. If you are the dealer, I'm out of the game. If you are the healer, it means I'm broken and lame. If thine is the glory, then mine must be the shame. You want it darker? We kill the flame. That's powerful stuff. And especially in the tone that he sung it. Because he had this, his, this very deep, kind of almost gravelly type voice, which was incredibly powerful and incredi incredibly uh, kind of ghostly in a lot of ways. So it really fit the types of uh, lyrics that he liked to write about pretty dark things. The next track, Almost Like the Blues, was released in 2014. It goes like this. I have to die a little between each murderous thought. And when I'm finished thinking, I have to die a lot. There's torture and there's killing, and there's all my bad reviews. The war, the children missing, Lord, it's almost like the blues. So I let my heart get frozen to keep away the rot. My father says I'm chosen. My mother says I'm not. I listened to their story of the gypsies and the Jews. It was good. It wasn't boring. It was almost like the blues. The next artist that we're going to look at is Pink Floyd. Pink background, Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd are known for their thoughtful and introspective lyrics. Roger Waters wrote the lyrics for this next song. It deals with the passage of time and the way that time can easily slip through our fingers. It deals with a concept that I personally struggle with, and that is living in the moment. It's so easy in life to be goal-driven and constantly looking into the future rather than embracing the moment that you are in right now. Waters addresses his personal realization that life is not about preparing yourself for what happens next, but taking control of your own destiny. The song is, of course, Time, and here are some of the excellent lyrics from it. Ticking away the moments that make up a dull day. You fritter and waste the hours in an offhand way. Kicking around on a piece of ground in your hometown. Waiting for someone or something to show you the way. Tired of lying in the sunshine staying home to watch the rain and you are young and life is long and there is time to kill today and then one day you find the years have got behind you no one told you when to run you missed the starting gun those are some really powerful lyrics about the passing of time and about aging and about the opportunities and chances that pass us by and how if we don't grab life by the kahunis right now that 
it's going to just slip us by and soon we wake up one day and we're old and it's all gone. So quite a, quite a compelling track there. The next song was written by Anthony Moore and David Gilmour. It is renowned as being one of Pink Floyd's most rhythmically complex songs. The vocal delivery by David Gilmour brings a real melancholic pleading to the words. The song is on the turning away. Don't accept that what's happening is just a case of others suffering, or you'll find that you're joining in the turning away. It's a sin that somehow light is changing to shadow and casting its shroud over all we have known. Unaware how the ranks have grown, driven on by a heart of stone, we could find that we're all alone in the dream of the proud. On the wings of the night, as the daytime is stirring, where the speechless unite in a silent accord. Using words you will find a strange, mesmerized as they light the flame. Feel the new wind of change on the wings of the night. There's some really beautiful and rhythmic lyrics going on in there. And again, it's, it's another thoughtful song from Pink Floyd. They just have such a knack for really reaching into some truly deep concepts in their songwriting. The next lyricist that we will look at is Paul Simon. He had a career that spanned six decades and is one of the most admired songwriters of our time. The song I'm going to look at was written in 1963 and released on Simon and Garfunkel's debut album, Wednesday Morning 3am. The album was initially a flop, but it was remixed and released in 1965 and became number one on the Billboard Hot 100 in January 1966. Paul Simon wrote The Sound of Silence when he was only 21 years old. He wrote this song sitting in his bathroom with the lights off. It is cited as addressing people's inability to communicate with each other emotionally. And here's an excerpt from The Sound of Silence. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping left its seeds while I was sleeping. And the vision that was planted in my brain still remains within the sound of silence. Wow, those are some amazing lyrics, especially coming from a 21 year old. So that, that's pretty amazing stuff. Next we're going to look at Bruce Springsteen. He has released 20 studio albums over his five decade career and is largely known for his energetic stage performances but also for his expressive, down-to-earth lyrics. The first song, Badlands, was released in 1978. The lyric is simple, but a pragmatic observation of human nature. So here's an extract from Badlands. Poor man wanna be rich, rich man wanna be king, and a king ain't satisfied Till he rules everything. <laughs> yep, that is very true. Springsteen released Hungry Heart in 1980. These lyrics are typical of his Heartland style rock. And here's an extract from Hungry Heart. Got a wife and kids in Baltimore, Jack. I went out for a ride and I never went back. Like a river that don't know where it's flowing... I took a wrong turn, and I just kept going. Simple lyrics, but extremely powerful, and they just tell such a compelling story. The River was written in 1979, inspired by Springsteen's sister and brother-in-law. But I remember us riding in my brother's car, her body tan and wet down at the reservoir. At night on them banks I'd lie awake, and pull her close just to feel each breath she'd take. Now those memories come back to haunt me. 
They haunt me like a curse. Is a dream a lie if it don't come true? Or is it something worse? That sends me down to the river. Though I know the river is dry, it sends me down to the river tonight. Born in the USA was released in 1984 and is one of Springsteen's most well-known songs. Although misinterpreted by many as a tribute to American patriotism, it is actually a harsh critique of American policy and society following the Vietnam War. Here's some lyrics from Born in the USA. Born down in a dead man's town, the first kick I took was when I hit the ground. You end up like a dog that's been beat too much, till you spend half your life just covering up. These are some powerful sentiments about the way we view and react to circumstances in our lives. One of Springsteen's most ghostly moments occurs in the performance of I'm on Fire, recorded in 1982. The song expresses his lustful desires. Here are some lyrics from I'm on Fire. Sometimes it's like someone took a knife, baby, edgy and dull, and cut a six inch valley through the middle of my skull. At night I wake up with the sheets soaking wet and a freight train running through the middle of my head. Only you can cool my desire. Oh, oh, oh. I'm on fire. The next artist that we will look at is Morrissey from The Smiths. Morrissey of The Smiths writes lyrics which are often self-deprecating and full of black humour and longing over failed relationships. But one of the most powerful songs by The Smiths feels like a funerary song. Accompanied by a lamenting piano, wind sounds and breathy vocals, these lyrics express a thoughtful requiem with a sad and desperate plea of hope for some kind of afterlife. Here are some lyrics from Asleep, which was released in 1985. Sing me to sleep, sing me to sleep, and then leave me alone. Don't try to wake me in the morning, because I will be gone. Don't feel bad for me, I want you to know. Deep in the cell of my heart, I will feel so glad to go. There is another world. There is a better world. There must be. Well, there must be. Well, there must be. Well, there must be. The next track was released as a single in 1984. It expresses an interesting mixture of lamentation and humour. Here are some lyrics from... Heaven knows I'm miserable now. I was happy in the haze of a drunken hour, but heaven knows I'm miserable now. I was looking for a job, and then I found a job, and heaven knows I'm miserable now. In my life, why do I give valuable time to people who don't care if I live or die? The next artist is the amazing... David Bowie. Bowie is well known for having an amazing career and writing some of the most important songs in the history of popular music. One of his most powerful songs was released in 1970 and also later covered by Nirvana. It is often regarded as one of his best songs with its haunting and disquieting atmosphere. The song is the man who sold the world. I laughed and shook his hand and made my way back home. I searched for form and land. For years and years I roamed. I gazed a gazeless stare at all the millions here. We must have died alone a long, long time ago. Who knows? Not me. We never lost control. You're face to face with the man who sold the world. The next track was recorded in 1969 and is unusual for Bowie as a nine minute long progressive folk song. 
It is a dystopian tune about a revolutionary uprising which results in a world which is not the utopia they had hoped it would be. Here are some lines from Signet Committee. And the road is coming to its end. Now the damned have no time to make amends. No purse of token fortune stands in our way. The silent guns of love will blast the sky. We broke the ruptured structure built of age. Our weapons were the tongues of crying rage. Obviously there's a lot of other lyrics from Bowie that I could have talked about here and brought, brought out, but these are some pretty powerful ones. And you know, Bowie is a legend. If you haven't heard a lot of Bowie, please go and listen to some Bowie. Moving to something a little newer, Cigarettes After Sex is a dream pop band which was formed in 2008. They have some pretty lyrics, and the first of which is from Sunsets. And when you go away, I still see you, with sunlight on your face in my rear view. This always happens to me this way, recurring visions of such sweet days. Next, a track from Cigarettes After Sex called Apocalypse. You leapt from the crumbling bridges, watching cityscapes turn to dust, filming helicopters crashing in the ocean from way above. Kisses on the foreheads of the lovers wrapped in your arms. You've been hiding them in hollowed out pianos left in the dark. Got the music in you, baby. Tell me why. Got the music in you, baby. Tell me why. You've been locked in here forever, and you just can't say goodbye. Nine Inch Nails are famous for having been a huge industrial band in the 90s and early 2000s. Trent Reznor's lyrics are dark and powerful. Here's an extract from Hurt. I hurt myself today to see if I still feel. I focus on the pain, the only thing that's real. The needle tears a hole, the old familiar sting. Try to kill it all away, but I remember everything. What have I become? My sweetest friend, everyone I know, goes away in the end. You could have it all, my empire of dirt. I will let you down, I will make you hurt. Such a great song. You may have heard it covered by Johnny Cash uh, before he passed away. Now, I am no fan of modern popular music, so this next artist may come as a surprise. But I wanted to include a mixture of songwriters, and this next artist is one of the few popular musicians who can actually write a decent song. Taylor Swift is known for wearing her heart on her sleeve in her songs. So here's a track written by Swift and Jack Antonoff called This Is Me Trying. I've been having a hard time adjusting. I had the shiniest wheels, now they're rusting. I didn't know if you'd care if I came back. I have a lot of regrets about that. Pull the car off the road to the lookout. Could have followed my fears all the way down. And maybe I don't quite know what to say. But I'm here in your doorway. I just wanted you to know that this is me trying. They told me all of my cages were mental. So I got wasted like all of my potential. And my words shoot to kill when I'm mad. I have a lot of regrets about that. I was so ahead of the curve, the curve became a sphere. Fell behind all my classmates, and I ended up here. <sighs> that's a... That's a really great lyrics right there. You know, regardless of what you may think about Taylor Swift, that's some powerful lyrical content there. The next track is noted as being one of her most heartfelt pieces. It is... 
all too well. Well, maybe we got lost in translation. Maybe I asked for too much. But maybe this thing was a masterpiece, till you tore it all up. Running scared, I was there. I remember it all too well. And you call me up again just to break me like a promise. So casually cruel, in the name of being honest. I'm a crumpled up piece of paper lying here, because I remember it all, all, all. We're going to finish with one of the greatest songwriters of all time, John Lennon. John Lennon was very experimental in his songwriting, and some of his lyrics are noted for being quite cryptic or even just nonsensical. But he's also written some songs with beautiful sentiments and some nice turns of phrase. Let's start with Across the Universe. Words are flowing out like endless rain into a paper cup. They slither while they pass. They slip away across the universe. Pools of sorrow, waves of joy, are drifting through my opened mind, possessing and caressing me. Jai Guru Deva Om, which means joy, hail, glory to remover of darkness. <laughs> Go and look up the interpretation yourself. Nothing's going to change my world. 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 Next, we'll turn to a love song that Lennon wrote when he was more mature. It's called In My Life. But of all these friends and lovers, there is no one compares with you. And these memories lose their meaning when I think of love as something new. Though I know I'll never lose affection for people and things that went before, I know I'll often stop and think about them. In my life, I love you more. The next song expresses a yearning for the innocence of youth. It's called Strawberry Fields Forever. Let me take you down, because I'm going to strawberry fields. Nothing is real, and nothing to get hung about. Strawberry fields forever. Living is easy with eyes closed, misunderstanding all you see. It's getting hard to be someone, but it all works out. It doesn't matter much to me. Let me take you down, because I'm going to strawberry fields. Nothing is real, and nothing to get hung about. Strawberry fields forever. That song was written about their kindergarten or primary school that they had in Liverpool. Lastly, we have a track that Lennon released on his own. This is known for being one of the most powerful sentiments against the evils of modern society. The song is Imagine. It goes like this. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. No hell below us, above us only sky. Imagine all the people living for today. Imagine there's no countries. It isn't hard to do. Nothing to kill or die for, and no religion too. Imagine all the people living life in peace. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you'll join us and the world will be as one. Thanks for listening. Those were 10 great modern lyricists. I really hope that you as a songwriter can draw some inspiration for how you can write lyrics as well. Uh, of course, there are many others. There are tons and tons of great lyricists, but I just wanted to pick out a few that might appeal and might show you a slightly different perspective from what you're used to in, in how to write songs. It's worth obviously listening to those songs and hearing how they are delivered. The performance is a huge amount uh, over and above the lyrics. But having strong lyrics is something that can be very, very powerful. So look, 
I really hope that you can take something away from this. If you're not a musician, I hope you just enjoyed the poetry of these wonderful uh, lyricists. So please like and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.